No, that shit was, yo. No, he ain't die. He turned into an Asian dude. <laughs> it's her preference. That shit is nuts. Hands <laughs> are not for the faint of heart. Right. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest commercials. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day. So That's be crazy. sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, you came out we're ranking regular, the most frightening, racist. disturbing, Ooh. or downright creepy ads, whether intentionally scary or not, that aired on TV or the internet. Is that a tongue? We will not, however, be taking into account any creepy pastas, as those deserve a list of their own. Watch movie on TV. We'll have Chat, what's of creepy pastas? Number 10, K Fee. Jump scares. You either love them or you hate them. Or in the case of this series of ads for Germany's K Fee Caffeine Company, <coughs> they absolutely <coughs> terrify you. Many were caught by surprise when these brief 20 second ads first hit television screens in the mid 2000s. They depicted a calm, serene scene, such as a quiet car driving down a desolate country road. Then, out of nowhere, a screaming zombie figure leaps out in front of the screen and scares the living daylights out of the unsuspecting viewer. <laughs> the question could be asked. How did I know that shit was going to pop out and I still got scared? How I knew that shit was going to pop out and that shit still scared me. I knew it was going to pop out. They did the JFK camera. Yo, I'm not trying to make fun of it, but they pulled a JFK camera. They B rolled it like JFK's shit and then had that shit pop out. Oh, creepy pastas. I'm about to say creepy pasta. I thought it was some shit that tastes like shit. Oh, I didn't know it was <laughs> Yeah, you sent me that mad long ago, man. Bro 30 still getting scared. What do I respond to? Like, how do I respond to that? What do you mean? What up, Monet? What do you? Bro 30 still getting scared. What the fuck does that mean? There's an age, there's an age stoppage when you can be pussy? What am I supposed to do about that? I, I what the fuck? Is this method of scare tactic cheap? Yes. Oh, that's but the it's also Oh my very god, effective. bro. Y'all fucking Number terrible. Nine, Kentucky fried lie man's... detector. Like, bro. Lying behind the fried chick? This bizarre 1967 commercial from Kentucky Fried Chicken is full of unnerving camera angles and odd close up shots. The plot is relatively simple. A group of ladies strap Colonel Sanders into a lie detector machine, demanding to know the secrets behind KFC's 11 herbs and spices. Sanders is having none of it, refusing to give up the goods. Give up, girls. How to blend 11 herbs and spices that make Kentucky Fried Chicken so famous. <laughs> That's the Colonel's secret. You got this to kill me for that motherfucking recipe here. This ad is like a torture porn interrogation, however, complete with a laughing narrator and even a trippy animation That's sequence to close things shit. out. Want more KFC I, I madness? A similar Yo, you remember that shit? A year later, Damn, featuring man. housewives escaping from their homes in prison break fashion to go grab those delicious buckets of. Ch Let me see. Ah! Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> to say that shit i knew this shit was coming bro i told you that shit really scares me it just, motherfucker just that and that was an actual commercial for what like i thought somebody custom made that they did that shit to wake them up from that boring ass commercial first off it was disrespectful because they got influenced by the jfk vid and they definitely fucking in sync the same shit the same plot chicken take it from the colonel kentucky fried chicken is finger licking good number eight Little Baby's Ice Cream. There's good reason for my glistening skin. So, do you love ice cream? We mean, Yo, where they really head at? love it? 
Well, then maybe you're brave enough to handle this series of ads from Philadelphia's Little Baby's Ice Cream. Both are absolutely terrifying and feature a wild-eyed, crazy-looking person covered head to toe in frozen confectionery. One of them, this is a special time, goes the extra mile, however, by having the aforementioned person scooping up gobs of ice cream from the top of its own head. I eat little baby's ice cream. It keeps me young. It keeps me light on my feet. We're not sure if this is supposed to bring customers in or scare them away. But little said, baby's ice cream definitely got our ah, attention. Ah, this some jail shit. To lick. Oh, lick. hell no. To love. Number seven. Baby laugh a lot. <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. Fuck no. You want to Clark? Fuck no. I fuck with no doll. And I fuck with no doll. I just laughing like that, dog. Next thing you know, you have your AC on or something like that. She accidentally moved that bitch, started laughing. <laughs> We're guessing that Remco Hell probably no. didn't intend to scare generations of kids for life when they first released this ad for their baby Laugh-A-Lot doll back in 1971. Sure, the idea Damn, of a giggling, laughing little girl doll probably seemed innocent at first, I but send me this time shit, has man, a put funny a way of y'all. making Facts. some things incredibly creepy, and this is definitely one of those times. The ad isn't helped by the fact that it's seemingly being narrated by a raving lunatic who can't stop laughing himself. You're listening to Baby Laugh a lot. <laughs> She's the funniest doll you've ever seen. <laughs> the whole affair just comes across as some sort of unstable LSD trip, albeit one that's kind of cool in its own peculiar way. Number six, Canadian Workplace Safety and Insurance Board. Most of us are familiar with highly dramatized PSAs, which are designed to either make hey. the public aware of an issue or to bring up something specific within the workplace. This Canadian PSA is of the latter variety and has to deal with keeping spills away from potentially dangerous work environments. The actress starts off the ad describing how much she loves her job and how she's engaged to be married. Then she slips and falls near the hot oil station, spilling a huge pan of the stuff all over herself. What the fuck? The audience is then treated to the brief but horrible sight of life-changing third-degree burns as the actress howls in unbearable agony. Yikes. Number five. Yo, you fragile... know what's so crazy? I've seen a commercial that was about herpes and shit like that, and it had it was some crazy shit. And it showed a bunch of teenagers like fucking with each other, like kissing each other, hugging each other. And at the end, it was a herpes and HIV commercial. And at the end had like all black screen with the white font. These people are not really suffering from HIV. And I'm like, why the fuck would you have a commercial of everybody hanging out and then kissing each other? Like these, like, I think they were like older teens and shit. It was an old ass commercial. Why the fuck would you have them all hugging each other, kissing each other? And then like the commercial was so cringe because they're like, you want to have sex? Like, I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I can't because I got it, but I still love you though. Like, it was the cringiest, weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. That shit was nuts. And then the movie Kids came out, and that shit just ruined my whole life. I thought kissing bitches are gonna catch AIDS. You remember that movie Kids? And then Rent came out after that and just did a number on me. I didn't want to fuck with no chicks from the Bronx. Shit was crazy. Still childhood monsters. The Fragile Childhood Campaign was a 2012 effort by the Euro RSCG Helsinki Agency oh, to raise awareness about how alcohol abuse affects young children. They did this via a creepy and disturbing ad. Oh no, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of creepy. Children might view their parents after they've been drinking. Images nah, featured in the ad nice. range from a deformed bunny rabbit and the Grim Reaper to a stocking-faced carjacker, all of which stir up all kinds of emotions within the kids in their care. It's a powerful you said that would be an option, clip, bro. They humans, which bro. gets its message across in a unique way. Speak out. What the fuck? <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Yo, uh, kids was about basically like just AIDS and it's just, it's a lot, bro. It's bad, bro. It's bad. Smokey four. the Bear. Smokey the Bear in human skin. Sure, this ad seems to start off innocently enough, with actress Joanna Cassidy speaking about forest safety in a manner that seems perhaps a bit erotic considering the subject matter, but is otherwise fairly straightforward. Then, Cassidy's face is torn away in a disturbing manner to reveal a chortling Smokey the Bear, who then states, quote, if you knew it was me, would you have listened? Actually, Smokey, we might have listened. What quote, the, the fuck? Manner to reveal forward. 
Then, Cassidy's face is torn away in a disturbing manner to re that face reveal is a scary. chortling Smokey the Bear, who then states, quote, If you knew it was me, would you have listened? Actually, Smokey, we might have listened had you not torn away a human face to get your point across. Just makes us want to run away from the forest screaming, to be honest. And after he's dead, cut off his face and wear it as your face. Please! I've had it up to here what he wants. Now stab <laughs> him and wear his face. Number two, PS3, baby. Hey, AJ, they put a box straight, street, man. Oh, hell no. Sony's PlayStation 3 was first released in North America back in 2006. That was the PlayStation 3 commercial? And this launch naturally featured tons of supportive advertising. However, it's hard to imagine this oh-so-strange ad doing anything but hampering Sony's sales figures at the time. The brief clip features the manipulated image of a baby doll, viewing the PS3 within a stark white room. <laughs> the baby cries tears of what we... I don't find this weird, man. I'm biased. Hideo Kojima was probably working on this, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's some Kojima shit. Kojima Productions. I fuck with it, man. This ain't weird. Zoom or Joy, while making some of on the most me. unholy That's sounds normal. we've heard since Baby Laughs a Lot. I'm biased. It's unsettling. It's unnerving. That shit just made me want to cop a fat back PS3 fat. the PS3 itself. Wait, yo, fam, you trying to sell it? Before <clears> we name our number one scariest commercial, oh, here hell are a no. few horrific honorable mentions. Oh, Grubby! <laughs> I don't know why that shit just made me fucking laugh. Horrific honorable mentions. Oh, Grubby! <laughs> He's Gruber now. Now go. Whee! And the surprise from Ferrero. <laughs> oh! Hello. The Samsung Toco icon is only $59.95 on pay as you go. Phones for you. Missing our tails will haunt you. You cannot beat us, even with your robot partner. You cannot beat us, Saw One William. You cannot beat us, Mr. New World. Number one, Auto Way Tire Ghost. fucked me up, yo. We opened up this list with a jump scare, so it's only fitting that we close our time together with one too. This time, a Japanese tire manufacturer decided to go the extra mile by boosting the production value and film quality to create a stark and snowy scene right out of a horror film. The ad even comes equipped with its own warning beforehand, as a first-person driving sequence becomes the site of supernatural terror, complete with a terrifying ghost girl bursting out from nowhere. Whoa! Ooh, they're trying to sell me tires. Was this to sell tires? We can't imagine what audiences felt when they first saw this ad, but we're guessing it caused more than a couple of panic attacks. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Oh man, that made me scared. Let y'all ain't gonna lie, that shit. <sighs> Come on, Unk, stay on your feet, gangster. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all, man? Man, that shit fucked me up, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Come on, what the fuck is happening? <clears throat> what up, Casey? We was watching the top 10 scariest commercials, but that last one fucked me up. Listen, it's not about being racist, man, but any Asian horror movie is is undoubtedly one of the most scariest shits. It could be a low budget film. I don't know what it is they got up in their repertoire, but they shit just fucking hit different. 